Hello and welcome back. So in the last lecture, we learned how to apply CSS styles to the view template of a component using styles property and style URLs property. Now there we also learned that whatever style we apply using styles property or style URLs property, those styles only get applied to the view template of that particular component. Now sometimes in our project, in our application, we might want to define some styles which we might want to apply globally to all the HTML elements and all the components. And in Angular, we can specify CSS styles globally using style.css file. So here in our project folder, if we go to the source folder, in there we have the style.css file. And inside the style.css file, whatever CSS styles we specify, that will be applied globally to all the HTML elements and all the components. For example, here if I say for the paragraph, I want to set the font size to maybe 16 pixel. In that case, this style will be applied for all the paragraphs throughout our Angular application. Okay, so throughout our Angular application, wherever we will define a paragraph, there the font size will be set to 16 pixel. So this is how using this style.css, we can apply some CSS styles globally. Now in this style.css file, let's go ahead and let's define some CSS styles, which we might want to apply globally in our Angular application. So what I want is for each HTML element, which we are going to define in our Angular application, there by default, we want to set the margin and padding to zero pixel. For that, we can use star and here we can apply those CSS styles. So this star basically means everything, all the HTML elements. So for all the HTML elements, we want to set the default margin to zero pixel. And we also want to set the default padding to zero pixel. Then what we also want is we want to set the box sizing to border box. So these are the three CSS styles which we want to apply on all the HTML elements. Then we also want to set some CSS styles for the body. So for that, let's say body and in there we want to set the font family. Okay, so this font family we want to apply globally from style.css. So throughout the application, we want to use the same font family. Now here, in order to specify the font family, I'm going to use Google fonts. So let's go to the browser. So you see some styles have been applied to our header component. Now let's open Google here and there let's search for Google fonts. Let's open this one. And there the first font which I'm going to search for is Mont Serrat. Okay, this one. So let's scroll down and let's select the font styles which we want. So I will select this one. These things are already selected. Okay, now you can click here. And from here, you can either get the link, the CSS link, or if you want, you can also use import. So here I'm going to use this import because I'm going to import this font family in the style.css file. Just copy it, go to VS code and go to style.css. And at the top, let's write this import statement. So we have imported that Google font. Now we want to use it. So let's go back again. And in order to use it, you can use this font family where it says font family is Montserrat. Let's copy this one. Let's go back and let's paste it here. Okay, so we want to use this font family, Montserrat. And if this font is not available, then only we want to use this font. So now if I save the changes and if we go back to our application, you see that font has been applied here. Now what I also want is, I also want to import one another Google font. So let's go ahead and let's search for that. And that one is concert one. Okay, so this one we want to use. So again, you can click here and you can get the import. So let me copy this import statement. Let's go back to VS code and let me paste it here. Now this font I have imported because I want to use this font 
for the logo of my web application. So if I go back, you see, this is how our logo should look like. Now, currently this is a text, okay? But you can also use an image, a logo image here. But here I want to keep things simple. So I'm simply using text and I want to design this text. And for that, I'm going to use this font family. Okay, so let's go back and here I will again select how we can use it. So basically this line, so font family should be concert one. And if it is not available, then use cursive. So I'll copy it and let's go back to VS code. And here, let's go to this app component in there. We have this header component and let's go to header component.html. So inside this div, we are displaying this eCart. eCart is basically the name of our application. And instead of showing a logo image here, I'm simply showing a text and I'm going to design that text. So this text is present inside this div with this class eCart logo. So if I go to header component.css, here we are designing that div. And in that div, if you see, the font family is already set to concert one. And that's why it looks like this. Okay, so the same thing we have copied right now. So I can go ahead and I can paste it. It's basically the same thing. So our application logo is going to look like this. All right. Now, the next thing which I want to use is I want to use Font Awesome. So let me open a new tab here and let's search for Font Awesome. And I want to use Font Awesome version 4. Okay, so we can go to this link. And what we want is we want to get the CDN link for this Font Awesome 4. So for that, you can click on this Get Started. Okay, and you can specify your email address here. And when you click on this button, the CDN link will be sent to your email address. For me, I already have that CDN link. So here I have that CDN link. I'll copy it. Let's go back to VS Code and let's go ahead and let's put it inside the style.css file. So again, we want to use the icons from this font awesome throughout our application. That's why I'm importing it in the style.css file so that it will be available throughout our Angular application. And now, since I have imported this font awesome, if I go to header component.html, in there we have this button element, and inside that I'm using a font awesome icon. So earlier it was not being displayed, but now since we have imported it in the style.css file now, if we go to the web page now, and if we go to our application, now that icon should be displayed, as you can see. So this is how we can apply styles globally to our Angular application by defining those styles inside the style.css file. And in the future, we are going to add some more CSS styles inside the style.css file, which we want to apply globally throughout our Angular application. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.